Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Pingvin Share on a Casa OS using Big Bear Casa OS at the third party app store with one click install. I did create a, another video on installing a Pingvin Share on Casa OS, but I wanted to make it easier and I decided to add it to Big Bear Casa OS. So, a little bit about this series I'm going over home labs or installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. You can get a link in the YouTube description to get to Big Bear Casa OS. Um, so a Big Bear Casa OS is a third-party app store uh, for Casa OS. It makes it to where you can do one-click installs, and it's maintained by Big Bear Tech World and the Big Bear community. It has quite a bit of apps, and also, uh, if you have an app suggestion, please join the Big Bear community and post it in the suggestion channel. Um, so, I do have a UI on how to uh, get the Big Bear Cross OS set up, but I'm going to set it up in this uh, tutorial. Um, you will need 0.4.4 or newer for Cross OS version. So... We're going to get to showing you about the Pingbin Share now. So this is what we'll be installing today. It's a self-hosted file sharing platform that combines lightness and beauty. Perfect for seamless and efficient file sharing. And uh, sh shares files using a link. Unlimited file size. Restricted only by disk space. Set expiration date for shares. Secure shares with visitor limits and passwords. Uh, email recipients. Integration with Clam AV for security scans. So, um, this is what it looks like, and um, we're going to be setting it up in uh, one-click install with Big Bear Cost OS. I did do another video uh, using a custom Docker file and importing it in Cost OS, but I wanted to make it a little bit easier for y'all, and I put it in Big Bear Cost OS for you to install with one, with one click. So, we'll get over to Big Bear Cost OS and uh, show you the Docker Compose. So now we're going to be on the Big Bear Casa OS uh, a repository. You can get a link down in the YouTube description. So we're going to scroll down to App Store URL right here. And then we're going to copy this URL. So I'm going to copy it over here. And then it's now copied. So now we're going to go back to our Casa OS and get this installed in the ad source. So now we're going to start out on the Casa OS dashboard. I'm going to go to App Store right here. And then I'm going to go over to Add Source. And then a text input will pop out. You're going to paste in the URL for the Big Bear Cost OS. And then I'm going to say Add. And then now we have 95 apps. So we can go over here to Search. And we can just put in Ping. And then here you go. It's in the Big Bear Cost OS category. We can also refresh the page. Go back into the App Store and go to the categories over here. And we see Big Bear Cost OS. And this is all the Big Bear Cost OS apps currently in the App Store. So on Big Bear Cost OS, I'm going to go into Apps right here. And then I'm going to scroll down to Pingvin Share right here. And then I'm going to go in the Docker Compose. So I'm going to name the um, Cost OS app uh, Big Bear Pingvin Share. I'm going to set some services. And then I'm going to define the services app underneath the services. And then I'm going to uh, get an image from Docker Hub. And you know that because there's no URL before this. And it's the latest tag. And then I'm going to say restart unless stopped. So if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails or any other reason, then it will try to restart. Uh, and, and then I'm going to set some ports. So 3,000 on the host and 3,000 in the container. So if this does collide with another port on your host, you can change this port. So I'm going to set up some volumes. So data, app data, ping, bin, share, data. This is on the host side. And in the container side is opt app backend data. So you cannot change the container side. And you cannot change the container side on the port e e e either. And then you can change the host side pa path if you'd like. And then this is the host path, data, app data, ping, bin, share, images. And then on the container side is opt app front end pl uh, public and then image. So 
Now I'm going to set some cost OS specific configuration. So the architecture of what the Docker container supports, AMD64 and ARM64. And then the main aligns with the service up here called main. I ca I'll call it app, I mean. And um, this makes it to where uh, e the port map is 3000. So it's go going into the host port and then going into the container port. So now I'm going to set a description, a tagline, the developer of this program, and then the author of the Docker Compose. I set an icon off of dashboard icons, and then a thumbnail, and then the title. So that's a little bit about the Docker Compose. So now we will install Pingpin Share with Big Bear Casa OS that we installed. So I'm going to go in the App Store, and then I'm going to go to Search and Ping. And then ping bin share right here. And then we can install. And then now this is uh, uh, the download in the Docker container off of uh, the repository and then extracting it and then setting it up with Docker uh, compose up. And then it's checking for the latest tag. Okay, now it's set up and installed. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it and it greatly supports this channel and I very much appreciate it. So, uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So, let's get back to registered programming. So, now I'm going to show you how to see the volumes that it created. So, I'm going to go into v Files app. And it's really easy to see the files in Cost OS with the Files app. So, I'm going to go into App Data and then ping Venn Share. And then you can also download, copy path, rename, cut, copy, share, delete. And you can check mark the, these files and da download, copy, cut, delete, and cancel. So you can actually go inside of Ping Venture Share and you can see data and images, a directory. You can see the uploads. You can see the database. You can also see the images. So. That's how to see uh, the data in Pingvin Share with Cost OS. So now I'm going to go over the container options. So if you go up these vertical dots right here, you can open into the UI. You can uh, save some tips. So you can go to the static icon and then you can uh, type in here. It's like a notepad. And then it saves. It reloads the container. It says Pingvin Share is okay. So now you can go back into tips. You can see it saved. You can also go in the settings and you can change settings here and then press the save button. And if you want to debug it, you can go up here to terminal and logs and you can go into the container and have a terminal. You can also see logs here. Great for debugging. And then you can export the Docker Compose right here. So I'm going to exit that out. And you can check for updates for the current tag it's on. This will not change the tag. And then you can uninstall, restart, power off and on. So now I'm going to go in the UI for Pingvin Share, and I'm going to open it up. You can either open it up here right here, or you can go in these vertical dots and open it right here. So I'm going to open it, and now we have it up and running. So I'm going to go get started. You need to put a username in. You can put your own info in here, and make sure you remember it. So now that we put our info in, I'm going to say let's get started. And then now we're up and running. So we can go ahead and see my shares. So you can create a, uh, a file and upload it here. And then um, you can also go in reverse share. So you can go create here. And, and you can cr create a link. So you can send this link to anybody you want. And then they can upload the file. You, you can put the expiration date the max share size in megabytes, gigabytes, or terabytes. You can also say the max uses to where uh, 
So this URL can only be used one time. So now you've just pressed create and then you can copy it here and then done. Um, now, if you noticed on here, you'll notice it has local host. So we need to go into our settings right here. I'm gonna go into the administration and then the configuration. And then you'll see right here, the app URL. So I'm gonna change this to the IP that it's on. And then um, you'll go over here and you'll see 3000. So um, now we have it in there. So we're gonna uh, save, we can go backwards and then we can go to reverse shares again. And you can see the URL has changed now. So um, now you can go to my account, you can change your username, your email, you can change your password, you can set up two-factor uh, authentication and um, a language, and you can change your color scheme and you can delete your account. You can also go into the administration and you can go to user management, you can create a new user. You can also edit a current user and you can delete a current user. You can go in administration again, and then you can go to configuration. You can change the app name, change the app URL. You can uh, say whether to show the homepage or not. You can set up a logo. You can also change a, the emails that go out. And then you can uh, change the share settings. So allow registration, allow unauthenticated uh, sh shares. You can set up the max file size. You can set up zip compression level. You can also, if you have an SMTP server, uh, you could enable it right here and then put your credentials in and then you can send a test email and you can save. So that's a little bit about Pingvin Share and how the UI works. So I just went over step by step on getting Big Bear Class OS set up, explaining the Docker Compose, um, get, uh, getting the Pingbin share installed and then showing you the UI a little bit. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our Discord. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.